Greetings, everybody. I am Zunox, the one and only, and yours truly, the master of the universe, here with you playing Monday Night Combat once again. Now, before I begin, I would like to just talk about the other games I've been playing the past few days. It's mostly just because for nostalgic reasons. That, and also I want to experiment a little bit more about what people like to watch. And although it's difficult to see what really people <laughs> like to watch since my subscriber base is so small, but <laughs> clearly everybody enjoys watching Monday Night Combat, and therefore I don't think I have much of a choice. I despite despite what I said there, Monday Night Combat is a great game, and I really do enjoy playing Monday Night Combat. So every moment I play on Monday Night Combat is not a it's not a regretful choice, but a choice that I made for myself that I do want to play this game because it's fun, opposed to I play Call of Duty because I get a lot of views. Of course, um, I don't have any income coming from making these videos, so I suppose there's really no <laughs> no need to go play Call of Duty. With that said. My um, graphics card, I guess I could use a little bit of updating, although I really don't know how much money I'm going to have to spend exactly on the setup. Because if, if I'm going to have to use HDMI, which is really, really um, probably the way to go when it comes to like good graphics recording for the consoles, probably need to get a HDMI for my Xbox 360, so that's going to cost me that. And then i got to get uh, a different... Um, a f a splitters of some type and then more of course more cables and then of course the graphic card itself and I'm kinda estimating about three hundred to four hundred dollars and that certainly is I don't know it just doesn't s like if I'm either if there's money coming from from this then sure of course there's no doubt I'm gonna do that but then also of, of course you can also think about it this way like if I don't if I don't do that then I'll never make money on YouTube so I mean those are all something to consider about like the overall progression of this YouTube channel. Not not that I really know anything about YouTube or am an expert on the business field and what, whatever else that may help me advance in my um, my dream in terms of making a, a career seeing out of video games but the main thing is I just don't know if I ha if, if that will be a good choice. Of, of course all the viewers will be more than happy to have better graphics in my gameplay but unfortunately the, uh, the decision that somebody has to make is ultimately me and therefore I'm not exactly sure if that's what I want to do. <laughs> With that said, I recently have been playing other games as well like Nox and Brink and um, certainly certainly they're really fun games but the only problem with this is the I personally feel like the the games maybe for one are not fun to watch and games like Team Fortress 2 and Quake Wars are all extremely fat paced and they get lots of views and Certainly are really entertaining to watch. Even Call of Duty, more or less, which is a pretty fast-paced game. And I feel like Monday Combat also fits that description, which is one of the reasons why I think Monday Combat is pretty fun to watch, actually. Um, after 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 recording gameplay and watching Brink videos and whatnot, I kind of personally feel like it's a bit boring to watch, although that could be because I'm playing 5-on-5 five five opposed to 8-on-8, eight eight. but right now the problem with 8-on-8 eight eight is that the game lags like crap, and therefore it's nearly unplayable. In fact, actually, I take that back. It is, it is unplayable. So therefore, hopefully there will be a patch soon and that fix it up. And if it still doesn't fix it, then I really don't know the future of Brink. And um, probably just go back to run in a combat and wait for Gears War 3. Whatever the choice may be, it's always going to have to decide. Decide the next step in, um, for, this, for this YouTube channel. I will really love. I would love to play more games that people will enjoy to watch. Although personally, it's ultimately a decision I have to make whether or not I actually enjoy playing the game. And therefore, I feel like the. I feel like it's probably best for me just to stay with Monday Night Combat for now, and hopefully try that. Try it again. I'll give it some more three and see where that goes. If it isn't going anywhere, then perhaps it's time to get a real life somewhere else, as opposed to playing games all the time. Well, that or, you know, certainly just keep playing Monday Night Combat and hopefully by then the up the content will be out. And even if it's not out, Monday Night Combat is still a great game and so I'll just continue playing that. <coughs> now, talking about videos and not fun to watch, I feel like one of the main reasons because Brink is not as popular um, can be because the reason w the game itself is too objective based and not enough individualism, meaning that you can't win the game by yourself. And I feel like the the common people just really enjoy this team deathmatch, if you will, thanks to games like Call of Duty and Halo. 
And while I, I do have to admit, killing player does give me a lot more satisfaction than just winning the game, if you will. Because the it really shows like a, a difference in skill and dominance in more or less ways. I personally feel like the... Personally, I feel like I really just love killing players. I, I'm, I'm definitely a PvP person, so, and I definitely do enjoy playing PvM or PvE, meaning that um, playing as NPCs, you know, like maybe maybe playing uh, Diablo, running around, killing monsters, leveling up, you know, action RPGs maybe, or just RPGs in general. That or, you know, like uh, PvP games like, you know, shooter games. Shooter games are generally all, sh all PvP. You know, I don't... I like playing Borderlands, you know, and that will be p probably PV and PvE. P player versus environment, if you will. And then, of course, playing against these people and killing the crap out of them is PvP. Player versus player. And definitely get a lot more satisfaction out of it as, as I destroy them, show dominance. And, of course, lastly, the most important thing is that, you know, I mean, up, up, up their face and they know it's get, they eventually get make it this personal, which even makes it even more fun for me because I know that... I am making them <laughs> suffer. <laughs> As you can see, once again, these people are just being ejected out of the map nonstop. And of course, the assassin is foolish to even think about escaping my wrath. And I um, understand also in this game, I'm literally dragging this game on because I haven't played Monday Combat for a while. So I, def I definitely need a much practice that I did not have for a long time. As you can see, that gunner can't believe he survived two clips. <laughs> That's because I'm just, I'm really rusty right now, you know? like. Oh, good. Yeah. But the thing is, despite how rusty I am with my aiming, my decision making is never, never out of shape. And therefore, that's because that's all thanks to all the other games I play, which is one of the reasons why I uploaded Nox and other games I play on the PC that uh, most people don't know. <coughs> Just because I don't upload any games doesn't mean I'm not playing other games. You see what I'm talking about? The the main thing is people don't know what I'm doing, and I actually. And like, like I say, once again, I play all sorts of different games just because the, there's so much to learn and there's so much to, to utilize from each, 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 and, each and up their own. And um, like I said, uh, Brink is really team-oriented. And so I, despite all the games I played that doesn't really encourage teamwork, I still play team-based anyways, even though it looks like I'm just a mass murderer <laughs> running that combat, running out, just going for kills, but if you if you think about it once in a while, you'll, you'll notice that I'm always just fine towards teammates to save them from harm, and then making sure that they are uh, they're, they're away from harm's, harm's way. And uh, this part is just, just for just for shit and giggles. <laughs> just like, I'm just, because he, he just keeps running, chasing me everywhere, and I'm just like, wow, really? Like, I don't, <laughs> don't see what's your, what you're trying to do. Despite, despite how, how dominant, dominant we were in this game, um, you can easily see that despite, you know, just killing, just killing people nonstop, you still won't be able to win games if you don't play objectively, which is, which is unfortunate because, um, Team Deathmatch, of course, you could win games single-handedly if you're just that good. But even even if I do choose to play the death Team Deathmatch, you know I cannot um, prevent the inevitable if the money balance is down, and therefore that uh, you have to think what's important opposed to what you want to do. But <laughs> even then, you know I feel like the you know that's the thing with Monday Combat this the. F the the self individualism rewards yourself way more than playing a team object playing objectively. I mean, if you think about it, like if you look at just money, you know, if you look at my money I've earned, it's definitely way more than people who are just sitting in the base and just protecting the base and or just sit, uh, or keeping them at a choke point. You know, certainly keeping them at a choke point isn't a bad choice, and uh, that definitely will help the team to victory as you progressively work as a team and push forward together. That or you're just holding your position, hoping that your team will push for it because usually it's not the problem. Usually it's never you; it's always other people, right? <laughs> so, so that's usually usually how it goes here. Um, but like like I said once again, though, like uh, games like Call of Duty is all about individualism. There's no team; it's just me and I kick ass. And uh, I feel like Monday Night Combat also fits that description. Along with games like Halo. And unfortunately, Brink is not, because it's all about team. Because when you get a kill in Brink, you get like about 30, 30 points, 30 experience, if you will. And then if whenever, when, you, when you 
buff your teammate, you get 75. And also, not to mention that if you revive your teammate, you get 70 playing points for revives, and then when they successfully revive, you get another 100 points bonus. So, 175 total versus 30. I mean, just think about it. Dude. <laughs> Nobody wants to just, I mean, everybody wants to kill. There's no doubt about that. I mean, there, even when I play Brink and uh, online people, everybody else is just running around ignoring objectives and just killing people. It's, it's just it's just a fact. If you just watch, if you just watch the people play, the common community, I'm not talking about people who go on the forums, okay? I mean, obviously, they, they have a brain and they play, they want to play the game to win. But when you're just talking about the community, which is really what makes up the community, because that's where the majority of the player is. It's kind of like, it's kind of like the, you know, president, and then you have the, all those other guys, congressmen on top, you know, there's, there are only like a select like few, and, and then they represent the people, they kind of, kind of represent the people a little bit, but ultimately, it's the, the citizens like you and me that are the ones that matters, and therefore, you know, maybe you have some foreign people who are, you know, extremely well known, you know, making voice in their opinion and whatnot, they're like, I don't like this, I don't like that, but does it, is, does it really, is he really talking for the people, or is he talking for himself? See what I'm talking about, and therefore, I personally feel like the, you know, the problem for this, um, <sighs> with Brink, is just, uh, too much individualism, I mean, too much, too much teamwork, it's just, you know, if I go out by myself, I feel like every gunfire is luck based, you know, like, cause the, the bullet spread is randomly generated. There's no, there's no, it's not like a battle rifle or like a saw rifle where every, okay, it's not like, it's not like a sniper rifle where you point and shoot and every shot it will hit exactly where it hits, you know, it's like, it's, it's like, it's like playing the assault with no accuracy and I can't aim down sight and I'm just shooting balls like that. That's what, that's what kind of brain feels like. So when every, most of the time when you get into a gunner fight, most of the time, by the way, it just feels like you're just spraying balls and you're just hoping for the best. <laughs> and so you have to work as a team to outplay them because if you work as a team, you know, you have two artificial, artificially generated bullets. You have buffs, like more health. Uh, even if they outshoot you, you have a medic to revive you to correct your mistakes. So it feels like it feels like the most of the battle. You know, it's just two team based. And by the Monday Night Combat and Team Fortress Two, actually not Team Fortress Two, um, Call of Duty, you can play by yourself and rape or destroy people. Or uh, whatever derogatory terms you wish to use at this point. I mean, it's, I mean, they all mean the same thing. But the, but the point is that you, whoever you may be, will be able to destroy people, and that, I think that's the <laughs> that's the fun. Who wants to who wants to just get destroyed? You know, nobody wants to just play around and get destroyed. Everybody wants to play and destroy other people and have fun, which is one of the reasons why people really enjoy. You know, be looking like other p players who are not as skillful as they are. You know, there's one reason why people a lot of a lot of people just quit games after they see certain players. Um, it's true fact that uh, people, everything you do is for selfish reasons. You wanna you wanna have fun. You wanna you wanna feel like you're the best player. You wanna be able to, you know, get kills. You wanna be the MVP. And that's generally the reason why people play games, you know, they want to have fun. And I can guarantee you that it's not fun getting destroyed. There might be a small population who will find it fun to get destroyed, um, as in not getting any kills, getting killed non-stop, and then losing the game, you know. That's what I mean when I say getting destroyed. You can get destroyed, but still win games, you know. At least you won the game. But the ultimately, though, when you get ultimately destroyed in every possible way imaginable, then we have a problem, because that's definitely not what you go for. <laughs> here's, a, here's an unsaid rule that my brother had for himself, and then uh, I thought about it, and he, he, he really does make good sense on that one. He's, he said that... Um, when he play games, he will not quit until he wins one game with a really good taste in his mouth and before he shuts his game console down. What he's trying to say is that um cuz ultimately you want to have fun. So you can shut your Xbox down or whatever console or PC you have after you lose a game or you can shut that game down after you win the game and so after the game you just have good memories because the brain, the way the brain works is oh, it, it wants to forget the bad stuff and wants to remember the good stuff so if you end up on a good note then obviously you, you have your brain will you know remember the good stuff and then you know the rest of that day should be pretty good because you you know 
you know, technically a major day. So that's kind of what my brother does all the time. Like he won't leave until he was again. <laughs> and uh, thankfully, though, he always plays with me. So I I feel like uh, every game he plays is a good game. Of course, uh, in terms of winning wise, though, I can't really guarantee his uh, per personal performance. But definitely, though, definitely without a doubt, he really um he really um shows me how to end my game. To win a game on a good note, <laughs> and so you probably won't see me leaving the game or shutting my Xbox down, losing a game because it's just uh, according to what he says, it's not worth it, you know. And um, like I say once again, ultimately playing games is to have fun, you know. I got I might got killed once, and you know that's unfortunate. But if you look at how everybody else is doing, then God forbid, I am just maybe a dream come true. <laughs> <laughs> Not to mention, I feel like the other team got completely deserved by ejector pass again, and 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 my level three bomb or level whatever bomb I was using at the at certain times. It just it just feels like the it just feels like people just never learn. Hopefully that <laughs> hopefully but hopefully someday okay you know someday they'll finally realize the 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 danger of being on low ground because as you can see this 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 tank is c getting completely destroyed because he's always on low grounds by ejector pass by bombs by everything imaginable and of course he has no choice but to die because he's always staying on low grounds and that is less than that sometimes people just never learn the easy way and um oh yeah on a on a different on a different random note actually i'm moving to a new apartment on by a, uh, a, a studio if you will a studio so it's well, like one bedroom one bath so it's just all for myself and um I also got fiber optics internet from uh, Verizon Wireless. Well, I guess you should be called Verizon Wired at this point. But uh, I got a uh, fiber optics, so it, they I paid paid for 15 megabytes download and 5 megabytes upload. But when I did a speed test on various different websites, I seemed to be getting 20 meg meg 20 megabytes download and five or even 10 megabytes upload. So I feel like the internet is a lot better now, but but more so than the internet I ever had in my entire lifetime so <laughs> hopefully hopefully games will be less laggy and hopefully I will get to enjoy more games and hopefully people you know get to see more money in combat or whatever other games I play anyway thanks thank you for watching and hopefully I'll see you next time on my YouTube channel peace out my friends